Hello and welcome to this online presentation looking at the implications of the new EMC directive. My name is Nick Wainwright. I'm the Chief Executive of York EMC Services. In this presentation, I'm going to look at the current EMC directive and its regulations and its requirements, particularly in terms of the things that haven't changed in the new EMC directive. And then I'll have a look at some of the background to the new uh, EMC directive, particularly the European Union impact assessment that was carried out, what that actually showed, and how that led up to some of the changes that we're going to talk about a little bit later on. That was all incorporated into something called the new legislative framework, um, and I'll talk a little bit about the new legislative framework and, and how that impacts not only the EMC directive, but other C marking directives as well. And then specifically look at the implications for the new EMC directive, the overview of the changes, and those all important implementation dates. So what do we have to do um, as part of the what were called the essential requirements under the old directive? They're actually called the general requirements under the new directive. Well, these haven't changed. And this is a responsibility on manufacturers to design their electrical or electronic equipment and to construct it such that the electromagnetic disturbance is generated, they don't exceed a level allowing radio and telecommunications equipment and other apparatus to operate as intended. So that's the emissions aspect of that, but also that equipment is designed and constructed such that it has a level of intrinsic immunity which is adequate to enable it to operate as intended. And the two bullet points at the bottom of this slide are particularly important because they say, well, when it's properly installed and maintained and used for its intended purpose. So we have two aspects to the, the, the general requirements, and that is to design equipment to limit the emissions and also to design equipment such that it has an adequate level of emissions. 